finally, we've had tremendous support in this initiative from the City Council and the City Council members. Our crucial voices in helping us think about how we approach each community and people in need in the community, but also try to address the quality of life needs of all of the residents of the community. And in particular, I want to thank Councilmember Ben Kalos for his focus on these issues and his support. Welcome him to speak. Councilmember Ben Kalos. Thank you to uh, Mayor de Blasio and Commissioner Steve Banks. Uh, for leading this effort and really taking on the homeless crisis and thank you to all the agencies that are here uh, today and every day and every night. I see the fire department, NYPD, DOHMH, APS, DSNY uh, and our partners in the nonprofits. We can't solve this problem alone but together we can make a difference. I hear a lot about calling 301. I also want to make sure and that this will make uh, Mindy Tarlow happy. You can use the 301 app uh, it'll take that three to five minute uh, 301 call down to a 30 second press of a button on your phone. Uh, so if calling 301 is too inconvenient, just press uh, that button on your 311 app. And so Homestead is absolutely spectacular. It's taken a lot of the different pieces that we need. So first, we're proactively canvassing every day and that is huge. We have the hope count which HUD mandates but we only do that once a year and it's usually on the coldest night. It's been rescheduled in the past two years because it was always so cold and we've been getting what I think are probably lower numbers than otherwise but the fact that we're actually going to go out and start doing this on a quarterly basis in warm months and in cold months so we can get an accurate count of how many people are really on the street is a big deal. And all of this is coupled with the fact that it's going to be happening transparently so that residents can see the results, see what's happening. And so we're a big supporter of this. And uh, we've also gotten a coalition together on the east side for the east side task force for homeless outreach and services. We work closely with HRA and DHS to make sure that the faith-based institutions can participate in all the programs that this mayor is rolling out from opening doors to supportive housing. I will get supportive housing built in my district with your help. We will take your money to do so. And uh, any, anything we can do to help the people who are on the streets, off the streets, I just want to take one quick moment uh, to just talk about who the homeless are. And so uh, it's not just this big number out there. It's 23,000 children. We have children who wake up in a homeless shelter and go to public schools in my district. Uh, the next big number is 17,000 families, 17,000 family members who have these children and they're waking up in a shelter uh, and then they're going to work, they're caring for their families. And then we have about 13,000 or so single adults. But when we talk about homeless, and as I remind my constituents day in, day out, is uh, these aren't people who have ever really done anything, especially when you're talking about children and families. This is a symptom of the affordable housing uh, crisis and the fact that people get forced out and they're on the streets and luckily we've done something about that on the MIHCQA under this mayor's leadership so hopefully taken together we'll continue to chip away at the problem one person at a time 25 people at a time and together we can and will make this city great thank you, thank you.